So we just had a customer bring us in this cup. And if you look inside, you see all that sediment, all that stuff in there? He said he got that from his water filter after seven days. So we're gonna go to his house and we're gonna stick a brand new camera in his well and see exactly what's going on here. Now, before we head out there, I wanna show you this new camera. So this is a brand new model from Sani Pace. This is a model S810. Now the cool thing about this one versus the other cameras I've had in the past, this is a dual head version. So this gives you image, side imaging capability and down imaging capability. Now this model actually sports a whole lot of cable. This is 328 feet of cable. We're gonna take this out and we're gonna stick this in a borehole and try to see what exactly is going on. I have absolutely no clue, but I kind of want to give you a little overview. And what we're going to do, we're going to go straight to the job, and I'm going to show you the recorded image that, that we get from this. So a little bit of background on this. Um, we re-drilled this well about a year and a half ago. It was originally drilled by our local competitor back, I believe, in like 97 and its original depth was 200 feet and was stamped at seven gallons a minute. When we had went there and tested it, it made about a half gallon a minute. So we drilled the well, I believe, to 585 feet, and we ended up hitting a lot of water around 540 feet. So I'm not really sure what's going on here. Um, we had made notes in the drill log that said, if there were sediment issues to line the well to 60 foot. Um, so we're gonna go out and take a peek at the 60 foot zone and see what's exactly going on here. Um, not really sure what we're gonna find, whether a liner's gonna fix it or if he just needs a, a bigger, better filter, but the water comes in at 540 foot and the pump is at 300. So not really sure what happened all of a sudden after a year and a half of use for him just to be suddenly getting a lot of grit because he says it's been fine for a year and a half ever since we drilled it and now he says it plugs up his filter in about five to seven days and judging by that that white container that's a lot of grit for five days of water that's it right there yeah yep. there you get that so something come across the well yep. yeah the the well is bridged across look, with, look at those big rocks here with a rock bridged across it yeah that's probably when i started getting the sand yeah, they came loose all out of the sidewall. Wow. You see, that's down at 170 foot. That is an absolute boulder. Right. Yeah, it's a boulder. That is no bueno. Yeah. Okay. Well, pull him back up. We know we got a boulder on it now. Yeah. Huh. That boulder. That boulder, boulder on yeah. His feet above the pump. Uh huh. And so that ain't what holding the pump. Uh, well, it's trapped the pipe. So, uh, remember, you, you, you've got a six inch hole. You've got something the diameter of your leg. Right. So, if a pipe's in there and it it's goes across. The pipe, you think? Well, not necessarily kinked it, but. but yeah, got a whole right, thing. All right, look. It's if the pipe. there is a rock at 170, how many do you think at 300? Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's so 170. So that's just what we're seeing there. There's more down below. On top of the pool. Yep. Yep. That's probably when I started getting sand. Prepared it all up. All right, let's talk about a little bit about what we just saw. So, the well is collapsed. There is a rock rolled in at 170 foot, and the pump won't come out. So that basically means since the camera won't go by the rock at 170, I can't go down and see if there's more on top of the pump, which I believe there is. I believe there's probably a lot on top of the pump. Now. Um, we, we took his tractor and we tried to lift up on it with a strap and I only put about 8 to 10 inches of upward pull on it which was a lot and the pipe would stretch but the wire wouldn't. I would see the wire start pulling so I stopped because I didn't want to pull the wire leads loose and then the system not work at all because right now he still has water. So um, basically there's nothing we can do short of setting back up on that hole and grinding it all up and chewing it all out, we're still left with a borehole that has a potential to do it again. I believe that is 
that like 1% or less than 1% scenario where a well is drilled right in the middle of a ground fault because ground faults are highly fractured rocks that can shift and they can either shift slowly over time or they can shift all of a sudden. And to me, it sounds like this was an all of a sudden type of situation um, where, you know, everything had been fine. Uh, previously, the well had stopped making water because the original driller stopped drilling it early. And then we went and found water deeper. Everything has been fine. And now we run into this situation. We're still trying to put a band-aid on a well that right, is rolling right. in rocks. No, we're trying to put a band-aid <laughs> on, uh, on a geological problem. Yeah, I think that well probably falls in a geological fault. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I researched it last night, and it said geological faults can, can either uh, cause rock shifting slowly over time, or it can happen all of a sudden. Right. And it just yeah, I think uh, what, it what looks happened like. in that area, instead of being horizontal, it's more vertical. Yeah, and, they just and the yeah. vertical sheaves are just uh, shells are just falling off. Yeah, I just uh, time and money and oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. You got to clean a five hundred and eighty five foot hole. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So time invested in cleaning that, and you may not get it clean. That's right. Then you still have to sleeve it. Right. That's right. If you if we try to sit down and factor in the cost and mm -hmm. the time and the fuel. Mm -hmm. Oh, and yeah. our labor, we're talking three days minimum. Yes, three days minimum. Yeah. You can drill a brand new well for in the same amount of time. Yes, and not and sleep it. All right. And not have to worry about that. Right. And right now, when we do this, you're going to kill his water the minute we attempt mm -hmm. to try to tear that right. well down. Mm -hmm. So, m money better spent right. is a new borehole. Yeah, Again, right. like, it's, it's bad luck. Right. Um, yeah, it, but like, all right, not like I told him, it falls under the natural disaster category. Right. I don't see why insurance shouldn't cover this. You know what? Uh, I would say insurance probably would cover it. Yeah, because they'd look at it and you don't have many claims. Sure, we'll <clears> right. Yeah, it's just one of them rare, rare, rare. Things. But that's kind of where I'm going. Yeah, yeah. I know. I, I've thought about it too. Another, another avenue. I've thought about it too. I, yeah, I thought about um, the little four-inch wing bit yesterday yeah. and. And the, but the minute you set the rig up on it, you're obligating yourself to it. Yeah. Right? And if it doesn't work, then you dish down your work. That's right. But right. it's already working. Right. Like it's flowing water right now. It his on, his only dilemma right is now. grit. Right. Yeah. So, and, it, and it's clear. What he got that burst of grit when that piece. When fell it off. fell over. Right. So yeah, as soon as he started getting heavy grit, that means that's when the rock fell in. Right. And it's just like damn, you know, like that sucks. Right. <laughs> Year and a half later, and a rock rolls in. Yeah, we're blessed we don't have more issues like that. If we did, we'd sleep them more frequently. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 The practice, our practice would be more like coastal. Yeah. Where you, where you, you always. Put a sleeve in. Where you always. Drill it, put a sleeve in there, slide yeah. it, and put a pump in it. Yeah. Right. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're on the same page. Yeah. I, was... I just hate it. Hate what? No well collapse. It's just shitty. Yeah, uh, you know what? Uh, You're so busy, and we didn't drill that part. We didn't I know, it, right? I know, I know. We have no responsibilities to it. I know. You know, we're out there because even if we had lined it to Rankin sixty didn't foot, come out to it. Uh, he didn't have any more rods. Jonathan purchased his rig, telling me that Rankin didn't have any more than two hundred forty foot of steel. Okay, he couldn't have drilled that it well in it. It was it. He was done. It was. He goes, I'm not investing any more money in this yeah. company. But like, like we when we set up on it, you started firing your hammer at 170 right. when the well was supposed to be 230. Right. So even in 17 years, that well collapsed 30 feet. Yeah. We just didn't know yeah. what was no, going no, on. No, we didn't know. No, no, we didn't know. But yeah. Yeah. It was just it was a lot of bull crap because the pitless removed the pitless. Cap the pitless, right. regrout it, and, and and plug it to where that doesn't wash back through, yep. and then set up on it and redrill it. And it's now like we had to dig out along the case and, and bring the water line back up above. That's there. right. So there was just so much going on there to try to save that hole, right. and it still didn't. Now we're gonna scoot over and do another one. I agree. Right. I don't want to invest right. any more time in that hole. Right. It's just 
is what it is. It reminds me of that one we drilled down here where me and you, you know, got our butts worked off with the one inch pipe and, and the river stone and for the little house. Remember the tiny little house? Now you remember it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, you remember it. Is where we drilled in the big giant cavity in the big cavity. Oh, yeah. Just like that. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. You know, it's not a big can... cavity down there, but if rocks keep caving in, it will be. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that was where we ran into the underground mine. Yeah. It should have been filled with water. What kind of was? You had to pressurize it full of air first, and then here Before comes it all. Come yeah. Yeah. You would you would fill it full of air for about five minutes. Right. And no, nothing would come out the top. And then finally. And then it finally came. it would come out the top. Once the hole equalized. Right. Once you, once you, you know, and then when we turned the air off, it kept coming. It kept blowing, yeah, because yeah. we pressurized that. That's zone. right. Yeah, we had air coming out of the well after we pulled all the steel out. After we laid the rig down and pulled it forward, air yeah. was still coming out. So it's like that was a giant cavern, huge, huge, yeah. huge, 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 huge. I mean, and you pressurized it to probably like you know eighty or hundred psi. Yeah, there's no telling how big it was. No. Nah. Uh, because you know it, it could be as big as this fucking child. But take your hummingbird sonar and dip it down there and <laughs> figure out what, yeah. map it down there. That'd be right. cool. Okay, yeah. cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna get on the phone. I gotta call a lady about my uh, flood box. Okay. And uh, Mike's out there cleaning. When he gets done with that, I'm gonna take me down there. Um, I guess we're just gonna go. We're gonna go to Presswood this afternoon sometime. Yeah, I need Grab to wrap that well in. I need to. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I've already put one load in it. I just didn't yeah. get water out of it. So yeah, but, I'm going to uh, give it know, one more load. Uh, that's the only thing we can do. It, it dry. You I know. know. I went out there and did the Kubota, and, you know, the mud is two inches thick. Mm -hmm. I, I go, Ed, he goes, no, I'm not, I'm not even going out here today. Yeah, I don't know. What we get? Eight inches in five days? Yeah. Something stupid. Yeah, something like stupid. Yeah, it rained good last night. Well, it's been about a week since I had went down and investigated that, uh, that well. Um, I've thought of you know two two possible scenarios that we could do um if i was able to put the crane on it i could probably try to break break that pipe down there on the pump if i could get the pipe and the wire out of the well that'd be great you know um it still requires us to go down 585 feet and clean the borehole and it still could collapse so then you're forced to clean that well and sleeve that well and hope to God nothing else happens or more stuff go and fall in on top of you and trap 580 foot of steel in the hole and cause tens of thousands of dollars of problems for us trying to fix another driller's mistake when he constructed the well improperly to begin with. But we didn't know any of this. It's all hindsight at this point. You know, you as a viewer got to understand, we don't know you know, what somebody else did back in the mid nineties. We were just told and hired to say, Hey, we want our well drilled deeper cause it doesn't make enough water. So we did. And, um, not something that we frequently do, but it's possible. And here we are kind of bite you in the butt. Now, another thing you could do if it was one of those situations where it's an extreme budget and the customer just absolutely didn't have the money, I wonder if you could sleeve that well to 170 foot and put it right on top of the rock collapse because water's going to flow around it regardless. It makes five gallons a minute. You could just put a pump at 160 foot inside of a sleeve that's pushed down to the rock collapse. That's not the most professional way of doing it, but um, I think it could theoretically save the well and make it usable. Um, but regardless, you know, what I just said probably would never happen. But in like worst case scenario, budget style situations. But um, I have done that. I've taken a 700 foot well that had uh, a bridge and it had a bridge at 400 foot and we sleeved it to 400 foot and set it right on top of the bridge. Um, but that that's, you know, one of them other crazy weird scenarios that you couldn't do anything else besides try to drill another 700 foot hole. Um this one is a little different but um the customer wants to go ahead and drill a new well i agree um we know the construction methods of the original well was wrong it only had 25 foot of casing 
and should have had like 75 or 85 foot of casing. So when we go back to drill the new well, we'll set a lot deeper casing and um, hopefully move far enough away to where maybe we can encounter water sooner. But um, the homeowner wants it fixed. He wants it fixed correctly. He understands the situation. He's not happy about it. But I think with... Um, what went on in it being a natural occurrence i think insurance should cover it so it may be one of them situations where we got to deal with the insurance company but you know we're talking 15 to eighteen thousand dollars if we have to drill another 580 foot hole again so that's not chump change that's not something that most people just have laying around especially when you just paid us basically half of that a year and a half ago to redrill the existing well deeper I don't know. It just, it, I'm doing the work and I'm making the money and it hurts my feelings to know that a customer has to spend that amount of money um, and, and that he's already got a well and that the pump that's in that well is practically brand new. It's just frustrating and, uh, and it's not even mine. So I don't know. But let me know what you think. I know a lot of people will click on this video just due to the title and the thumbnail and a well collapse. But um, drama always brings the views and excitement for y'all. But it is 100% frustrating on my end. 100% frustrating. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you're a driller, what would you do? Would you recommend drilling a new well? Um... The problem with setting up on top of it is trying to chew up that black roll pipe and that would be a trick um, to try to get that much pipe out and uh, also fighting the collapse and the broken rock and all that stuff so it's just a lot of variables there that just say don't do it don't do it so I don't know we'll see let me know what you think comment section be sure to give the video a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed please hit that subscribe button We'll see y'all later. Peace.